Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to install the Windows 10 preview version on the VirtualBox. So right now I have VirtualBox installed on my Mac OS and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Windows 10 May 2020 update and uh, I'm going to download the ISO file, install on the VirtualBox and run on the VirtualBox. So without further ado, let's get started very first step that we need to do is we need to download the ISO file so if you go and search for Windows 10 Insider Preview download you would have this first link and which will help you to download the Insider Preview so if you are not able to access this page so very first thing is what you need to do is you need to register yourself as an insider and then you would be able to access this page so since i already logged in using my account which has the insider preview access so i will am able to access this page so once you are on this page uh, there are a couple of uh, options here so if you scroll down a little bit down and you would be able to see there are certain versions that you can select so right now if we want to download download the latest version which is going to release in May 2020 you can download the first one which is the fast and the release preview is nothing but the upcoming update which is going to come in next a month or so in the month of October 2019 so for that you can download this but I'm going to download the advanced version which is going to come in um, May 2020 so once you selected this select this confirm so after confirming uh, you have this option to select the language so I would be selecting English and confirm. So once you confirm the Microsoft validates in the backend and it will give you two options. Uh, one is the 64 bit download and other is a 32 bit download. So based on your requirement you can download either of it. So I'm going to download the 64 bit. Just hit on this link and uh, this link is valid for just 24 hours. So make sure that you download this 64-bit uh, uh, before that. So I'm not going to download the entire file because it's around 4.5 GB and I already have this file downloaded. So let me cancel this and minimize. So if I go to my finder in downloads, so you can see the insider preview same version is already available. Uh, it's 18970 and it's ISO file. So let me open my virtual box and uh, create a new virtual disk image name it as windows 10 20 h1 and uh, keep it default so it's a 64 bit microsoft and uh, machine folder is fine so let's hit on continue so here it's asking me to set the memory limit so i'm going to set it to somewhere around 3 gb so that my memory is not exhausted the second option is to select the hard disk uh, I would be creating the virtual hard disk which would be used for my s installing my Windows 10 so let's go and hit on create and create the hard disk type as virtual disk image continue and we will have a two options this is the dynamic allocated or the fixed size so i would su suggest you to select dynamically allocated because fixed size use up all the space while the dynamically allocated will use the space only which is required for the windows 10 installation so let's select the dynamic allocated and continue here you can select the space so by default it's 50 GB so you can just uh, minimize it to somewhere around 40 GB or something and I would not suggest you to go beyond uh, 30 GB because Windows 10 has the size of uh, 30 GB so if you go beyond that then uh, your installation might get failed so suggest you to select around 40 GB or 50 GB keep it default there is no problem with it so and I'm um, also going to save this uh, virtual disk image into the my other drive which is virtual HD so right now it would be saved in virtual HD and this is the uh, virtual disk image uh, file name so let me go ahead and create so here you can see uh, the virtual disk image has been created for Windows 10 so I also have the uh, Ubuntu which I installed in my previous videos you can go and check it out and this uh, once you have created this virtual disk image all you need to do is just go and hit on the start button once you hit on the start button this window will appear and here you have to select the ISO file that you have downloaded from the Microsoft uh, website so just go and uh, click on this option and you would be able to see this ISO file open and then hit on start 
let me just enlarge this one you can minimize all of the windows so you can see my virtual box is uh, booting into the windows 10 installation and uh, this is like i mentioned it's a 2020 preview version so let's go ahead and select the uh, installation uh, it's fine keyboard and language and select install now so it's asking to enter the product key if you have the product key then just go and enter your existing product key uh, if you do not have then no problem you can just select this do not have a product key and since uh, we are testing this on the virtual machine then we don't need a product key we can just uh, use uh, i don't have the product key option and then select so in this in this step uh, we have to select what version of windows 10 we want to have so there are a couple of options like we have want to home or a pro or a education for just for the test purpose i'm going to select the basic version which is the home version and select next and here it's asking me to accept the terms and condition no problem accept next and uh, I have two options whether to upgrade the existing or use the custom so I'm going to use the custom because uh, since it's a virtual space virtual disk so I don't have the Windows 10 already installed on the system so let's go ahead and uh, select the advanced option and here you have to select the disk so like we have created the 40 GB disk space which is uh, available here so you can just go and hit on next button here and this will start processing so it will take couple of uh, minutes like 20 to 30 minutes to copy all the files install and update all the features um, meantime you can just go grab a, grab a coffee and uh, enjoy it So it started installing the updates in any moment it will finish the updates and uh, it will ask to reboot the windows 10 so you can see it started rebooting so once it is rebooted then uh, it will start automatically installing the windows 10 on the virtual box So installation has rebooted once again and you now you can see this blue screen where it says just a moment. So now we are at the welcome screen where the Cortana is talking so I just mute it so that uh, we can proceed on the keyboard. So let's start with the basics. It's asking me to select the region. So let me select United States. Say yes. Next it's asking whether the keyboard layout is US. I would say yes. Do I want to add the second keyboard layout? I don't want to. Skip. It's checking the network settings. So my virtual box is already connected to my, uh, my network adapter. Now it's checking what's new from Windows. Here we have to set up the account settings. So let me log in using my Microsoft account. It's asking me to create a pin, so let's go ahead and create a pin. So 
so you're asking me to set up the privacy asking me to set up the privacy settings here so all those things are enabled here so you can just enable or disable based on your needs so I would be disabling this So it's asking whether to save the, the active device activity across the board. So you can say yes or no based on that. So let's say no. Wanted to get notified on your Android device. I can do it later. So these are a couple of services that Microsoft is offering and uh, based on your requirement you can select yes or no. It's not mandated that you cannot enter the details. You can just go ahead and do that. There is no problem with it. But uh, since it's uh, my test rig, I don't want everything to be done right now. So say yes, backup on OneDrive. And I think this should be finished now. Let's say no. Let's say yes. Seems like they have added a lot of features in this. The history, the device assistant. So we are at the final stage of installation. The windows is being set up at the back end and like it mentioned it might take several minutes. So we are almost there and that's it. Our Windows 10 has booted and uh, you can see here, let me just grab. So do you want to allow the network? Say yes. Some random error here, just say nothing. Now let me search for something here. Resturbin.com. So if I minimize this Microsoft Edge here, you can see it's a Windows 10 Home Insider Preview Evaluation Copy and the build number which is uh, 18970 pre-release. That's all in this video guys. I hope this helps and uh, we are going to cover a lot of other videos on this a video series on uh, what the Insider Preview is and all the new features that are coming in. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to visit restorebin.com. Thanks guys. Cheers. Have a great day.